Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you. Actually two for St. Patrick's Day. We have some French vanilla coffee. So what we're gonna make is a gnome and a sign. So I'm gonna kinda go over the basic materials that you need, but obviously whatever you have is what you have and that's what you have to work with. Uh, we definitely have a hot glue gun over here. Um, some craft scissors. I did pull out my fabric scissors just to cut the socks, but craft scissors should be fine. You'll need socks of any variety. Um, I picked up these, I wanna say last year at the Dollar Tree. Um, some black socks from the Dollar Tree. I actually ordered these on Wish or something last year. They're little kid size leg warmers, but they're gonna be perfect for my little rainbow hat on one of my gnomes. I'm gonna make a Dollar Tree gnome and a not Dollar Tree gnome. Um, you'll need some type of bearding fur. I have this stuff laying around my house, so this is what I'm using. But any of the materials from the Dollar Tree, like the mop heads or anything like that, will work. You can also, if you don't have socks, you can use felt. I mean, it's just endless of what you can use. Um, you will need for the gnome some type of a rock or weight, sand maybe. I avoid using food just because I don't want to draw bugs. So I use the rocks from the Dollar Tree. Um, you will need... Also, some type of a nose, pom-poms, a wooden ball, a bead, anything. You just need a nose. I have these. I like the colors, so we'll use those for the nose. Um, also, if you have maybe some of this, like, this is good for bearding as well. This is actually uh, faux mink fur, but they have those um, chamois cloths, the white ones. You could use that for your faux fur as well. And then for the sign, I'm using this three-leaf clover. I'm using some of these hearts. I have some chalk paint, paint brushes, and some of these um, shamrock. We're gonna see if we can finagle these and maybe some ribbon if I can find some St. Patrick's Day ribbon. But we're gonna do that second. Oh, paint brushes, you know, the materials for painting. So what we're gonna do, I'm cleaning up the top deck here. Oh, and you'll need some type of stuffing, batting. You can take an old pillow apart. You can use anything you want. I have this buffalo snow. It's fiber fill, guys. I got it on clearance after Christmas, but like I said, anything you want, maybe a pencil and maybe a X-Acto knife, depending on how you feel like you want to cut your um, faux fur if you're using faux fur. So I've already cut my fur, but I will show you how to cut it. I also use twine, any kind of string or rope to avoid having to sew. So I'm just moving everything out of my way here. I'm going to set us up, move you down and have a good view. And then we're gonna go over first how to make the gnome. Okay, we're practicing with our overhead jigamajoo thingamajig, if you will. I'm just grabbing some of this fur. I have a little piece already cut. I wanted to show you when we get to the fur portion. So, bodies. This is the foot of a sock, right? I just filled it with rocks and stuffing. So he'll be a little taller. Then I took the leg of the sock and I just tied off the bottom here. Now I will put let me get my hot glue in here. I will put a little bit of hot glue down in the center here, just to make sure that it, um, you know, doesn't come loose. Then I'm gonna flip it around. Now that is gonna become my bottom. We're gonna take some rock. I am not digging my hands down in there because that will ruin my nails. These socks, ooh, ooh, diggy dog. These socks are very stretchy, which is nice. So it's a little too much. Just dump somewhere back in there. There we go. This fur wants to touch everything. Okay, so it just, you want that heavy base. It's all about the base, 
no treble. <laughs> Guys, I crack myself up sometimes. Sorry, corny, I know. I'm just grabbing some fiber fill here, and then you just want to stuff it in your sock. However full you want and how fat you want your gnome to be. That is 100% up to you. You want to make sure there's enough stuffing to give the body some, you know, something to hold on to. But it doesn't have to be, and look, he's all bumpy. He's got a big butt. Should I sing it? I like big butts because I cannot lie. No, I think I already gave you one of my corny songs. And then again with the twine. And it doesn't have to be twine. This is what I happen to have a ton of on hand. And it just works for me. So we do that. We tie his little head. And then what I like to do, just for a little bit of insurance, is put a little bit of glue right there. And that is literally just going to hold this knot in place. Just so it doesn't come undone on his own. Okay. So I have two socks here. This is going to be the hat. I'm actually going to leave this twine just how it is. This is going to be on one, guys. All I did was I bunched up the toe and I tied it. That'll be the back of the hat. This will be the front. And you automatically get this angle. Isn't that cute? So I did that with this one. On this here... I turned it inside out. I gathered it up and tied it, and then I just cut this bulk off. And again, I tied it, so we're gonna give it just a little hot glue, just to hold that twine in place. So we'll let that dry. We'll work on this little man first. So now when it comes time to cutting, if you're using fur like this, and I know that like Joanne, Hobby Lobby, they sell sheets of this. It's just faux fur. The thing is you wanna be careful is how you cut it. So you could just take a pencil and draw your line. I just find it easier to do this than not. You can take an X-Acto knife and just keep drawing over it, or I have these little thread nippers. I hope you can see this, and I just, the thing is you don't wanna cut through the fur. You're really just trying to cut through the back here, cause watch. When it separates, it leaves it long on the front side. Isn't that cool? If you wanna make a girl, that's really how you make, you can make, you don't have to make it, but you can make braids like that or pom pom or ponytails. Now, like I said, I have already, I'm just checking my angle here, I have already, cut all my fur pieces into place. So I decided this one guy is gonna get, he's a little bumpy. You won't see his bumps, but you know, aren't we all just a little bumpy? He's gonna get purple and some gray in his beard. And then he needs a nose, what color nose? Brown, that's pretty, or gray. That's cute, but I want a bigger one. Let's give him the gray nose and the other guy will get the brown nose. There are two guys today. Now, I am going to take out some more stuffing here. And like I said, you know what? You have an old flat pillow on your bed. Get a new pillow and use the stuffing. Don't throw it away. Use it for crafting. I do that a lot. I just happen to have run out. Um, so I'm just going to stuff it just a little bit. Nothing. That's a little much. I just want his hat to have a little something, something in it. You know, there we go. So it's just a little shape to it. He'll, I'm just trying to like stretch it out and just a little volume. So his hat's not flat. And then I'm going to take his little body and I'm going to say, okay, well, where's his hat going to end up? Right, because you want to know where his hat's going to be so you know where to put the beard. And I probably will like bring this down a little bit, but I feel like his beard is going to go right up here. 
right here. Okay, good place for the beard. So I can take that off now. And then I'm going to just want to get the first piece of this beard attached. Just like that. Done. Now what I will do is come over here and just, you know, this is nothing formal, nothing fancy. Because this beard is not going to see any type of pressure, you honestly just want it to stick. Now, the fur, if you've noticed, you'll have to take a lint roller. This is all fur, but I'm not too concerned about that right this second. So we have his, you know, first little beard on him. Then I've decided he's getting a little bit of gray because he's older. He's an older gentleman. You know? He's wise, I guess we'll say he's wise. And so we're gonna put that right there. Just give him a little bit of gray. I already had that piece cut. And then I liked the gray for him, but he doesn't get that until after we stick his hat on and glue it down. So we're gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna turn him this way, sorry, but I need to get his hat on straight. Right, right. Okay, got his hat on. And what you can do is kind of bump it up under his little, some of that stuff. And I'm going to glue it here in a second, but we just want to make sure his little, ooh, get his little head on straight. Got to get his hat on straight, kids. And you just fuss with it. I mean, this is just 90% fussing, to be quite honest with you. So now over here, what I would like to do is... I really would like to make sure this is glued down. I don't want it popping up on us. And I also don't want my nails or my fingers sticking in this glue because that's hot. So we just do that. And then we'll come over here and do the same thing. This, his little hat on this side is, or this little guy is a little tight. I made him a little too full. It's okay. Anything that sticks to it, you know what? It just peels right off. So now we're back to the front. I want his hat to kind of, he may have a standy up hat. I don't know. What do you think? He may have a stick up hat. And then we're going to put his little nose on. And honestly, guys, that is a gnome in a nutshell. Okay, well, not in a nutshell, in a sock. But, you know. And then you just stick his little nose. And if I want, I can put a little bit of it under. Under there. Just checking out the glue that got on the back. And that's it. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I like his hat sticking up like that. And his little gray. He just needs to dry now. And now we have our little St. Patrick's Day guy. So we're going to make one more. This one is not with Dollar Tree materials. Could be. Dollar Tree sold um, leg warmers. I have some. But this one here, he doesn't need that. And I'm not going to give him much stuffing up in his hat. Just like a tad bit. Because I want his hat to lay over. If the other guy's standing straight up, which I love. Because you can see the clovers. So he needs his hair, first and foremost. And I did pre-measure this one, so I know that his beard, right, is going to go pretty much right here. Because I want it to hang down, I will put him up on a riser, probably. Now, here's something fun we're going to do with this gentleman. He's getting some whiskers or uh, a mustache, right? So you want to find where the center is and you're just going to glue them on. You want to leave some room in here for his little nose. So I'm going to put him kind of high because I would like his nose down here. So we're just going to, I can see, oops, make sure that's down. I can see where the halfway mark is. It's pretty much right there. We'll put that one there and this one here. 
<laughs> and I'm not even attaching them because we, it's like a um, handlebar mustache. <laughs> and then I am going to glue his little nose on now because I want his nose in a very specific spot. Um, these pom-poms, I got them at Joanne last year. I've had them for a very long time, and I will tell you, they're great. They're really soft, and they come in some fun colors. I just happen to have gotten these. And now he needs his hat. In this hat, it doesn't matter what the front and back is because it's um, a leg warmer, right? Oh, uh, guys, I'm in love. I am in absolute love with this little man. Let me just glue this real quick because, oh, did that stick already? I do not want that to move. Uh, okay, got his little nose down. I made a mess of my glue gun here with all this fur, but that's okay. And I know that the Dollar Tree also sells rainbow knee socks. And you could totally use those as well. But I kind of want his little hat over this way. Oh, gee, many crickets, guys. I don't know. I'm kind of in love with this one. And then I will just mess with his hat for a minute. There we go. And you can... I can like glue it to the side here. If I decide that's where I would like it, I'm just gonna tack it right there. There was some wet glue. So there we go. Here is gnome number two. How quick was that? All right? Tell me these guys are not adorable for St. Patrick's Day. And I'll show you a better picture of them when they're done. Okay. Give me a second, we're gonna put some materials away and get started again. All right, guys, here we go. How adorable. We have our two little gnomes and our little DIY. Hi, Dubs. And the baby would like some attention. Oh, here he comes. All right, everybody, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed my St. Patrick's Day DIY.